My students often ask me, how was Jeet Kune Do training back in the days with with Bruce Lee, former Bruce Lee student, Sifu Hartzell, my instructor from 1974 to 1982. And you have to realize that in those days, Sifu Larry was emphasizing boxing, kickboxing, or Chinese boxing, and the trapping. Those were his main areas. We weren't grappling back then. And obviously he's known very much for his grappling expertise, but a lot of his grappling came along later. He got a lot of grappling introduced to him from Bruce Lee. But a lot of what he developed and came to be known, he took that and then obviously through Guru Hinasanto, uh there was so much more and he refined so much through Guru Hinasanto. But in those days, his emphasis was the boxing portion of Jeet Kune Do, the trapping and the kickboxing. And he would always say, my JKD is not your JKD. You'll, you'll find things that you would rather train and your, your interest and you'll emphasize in your teaching. So in those days we would have the full equipment on. Baseball shin guards, you know, one boxing glove on the lead hand because we spent a lot of time in the, with the power side forward in those days trapping with the bare hand, full contact, baseball shin guards, shin kick, finger jab, pox sal, crashing. It was invaluable training. I valued it so much then and even more so now. But the way things have changed now, as, as you would hope and as the art is supposed to be, we've evolved. We've evolved in the training. We've evolved in the arts we've drawn in. We've evolved in the teaching. It's always evolving. It should always evolve. 